Elijah was not prompted. He started talking on his own. Elijah didn't ask him. What was being done against Elijah? What had been planned? What they have been doing? He said, there is no nation. This is what they are planning against you. This is what they have done against you. He was exposing his boss. He was exposing conspiracy. Elijah, this was being planned against you. This is what they have planned. That's the God we serve. He knows how to expose evil conspiracies against our lives. Every evil conspiracy against me. Oh Lord, arise, expose them. Hey, hey, hey. Obadiah was speaking by himself, voluntarily. You see, it's very important. One of the best gifts of the Spirit, as far as I'm concerned, and my Father and the Lord, Papa Debo, he said the same thing. Is the salmon of spirit. Revelational gifts are the most outstanding gifts. All gifts are important. But have you noticed the Bible says seek to prophesy? It's not just about prophecy, it's about revelational gift. A miracle worker can die premature because he was not sensitive to see that there was an accident. A man who speaks in tongues but does not have the gift of discernment can get into a trap. So when God gives you or you convert that desire to see, to hear, not necessarily as um, a minister, just for your life's sake. I never desired the prophetic ministry so that I would start um, prophesying and calling out people. That was not it at all. In fact, when that started, I was surprised. I wasn't even too happy. Because that was not my desire. My desire was to hear the voice of God, know the Holy Spirit for my life. To be intimate with him. I wasn't desiring prophecy. Oh, I want to prophesy. No, I never. I loved it when I saw it in people. First Corinthians 14, verse 1. Follow after charity and desire spiritual gifts, but rather that you may prophesy. I was talking about revelation and manifestation. I saw William Brown prophesy. I was saying, wow, this is outstanding. But deep down, I wasn't interested in standing in public, calling out people to me. I'm like, mm, it's not about people, it's about my life. Let me walk with God to a point I should know what he's saying this, when he's saying this, when he's saying that. But when you come out, after having that relationship with God, when you now come out in public, what you are displaying is an overflow of your personal relationship with the Holy Spirit. An overflow. An overflow. We are going to take this second prayer. Every evil conspiracy Every evil conspiracy against me, O oh Lord, arise, expose them. Amen. Expose them. Expose them. Expose them. We are having too many casualties in the body of Christ. People dying. People. Jesus went through a lot. But he never gave up until he willingly gave up himself. David saw battles, but he lived to old age. The counsel and the plan of the Almighty God for your life is that you will not fall into the trap of the enemy. Yeah. You will not fall into the onslaught of wickedness. Yeah. Say, my father, my father, my father, my father, as I begin to pray, begin to pray every evil conspiracy, every evil conspiracy against, my life, against my life, oh Lord, arise. Oh Lord, arise. Expose them. them. Every evil conspiracy conspiracy against my life. life. Oh Lord, arise. arise. Expose them. Expose them. Expose them. Expose them. 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 Open your mouth and fire prayers right now.